everyone. I've got a different type of video for you this evening. I had somebody off a chat group that I'm a part of ask if somebody has done or could please do a little packing video showing the comparability between the BFF and the Mini B. There's some been some people that have claimed that what fits in the BFF can fit in the Mini B and I just wanted to go ahead and try that out because I'm actually curious myself. So I've got two bags here today. I've got the Juju B BFF in Black Beauty and then the Toki Doki Juju B Mini B in the Unikiki 2.0. So I've actually got the the BFF packed up already from today and this is just for a my one-year-old and the things I would need to take for her and myself and what I'll do is I'll unpack this little beauty here and I'll see if it'll all fit into the mini B so we'll just do that real quick so with the BFF uh, it is a backpack style as well as a messenger style so it is very similar I guess to the mini B that it can be worn as a, as a backpack so it has a mess, a mommy pocket in the front here that zips open this way and it does have gussets on either side and on the inside of the bag you've got the black magic print so there's a gusset pocket in the front here and I've just got some antibacterial wipes and some olive, olive oil hand cream and then behind that I've got my wallet, long wallet as well. There is a key fob, but I have that tucked into the pocket because I don't use that with my keys on this bag. And in the zipper pocket on the left here, I've just got a lipstick. So that's in that pocket. There's side insulated bottle pockets on the BFF. And in this one, I've got my keys attached to the messenger D, messenger D ring on here. I don't have anything in the back change pad pocket. I did have some paperwork in there from the doctors today but I've taken that out since then and on this side I don't have anything either. So that's on the outside of the bag. On the inside of the bag, in the middle there, it opens up with two zippers on either side. Really smooth zippers on the Onyx collection I have to tell you. Actually before I go into that there is a, there is a cell phone pocket in the front here and I have my phone, my iPhone 7 Plus in that pocket there. So that's in the front there. Now when you open up the BFF it opens up quite well you can see everything and it has gussets on the side as well so it doesn't flop open there is a zipper at the front here that zips open I don't have anything in there at the moment in the side I'll go around the pockets so there's four pockets and on this side I have my daughter's Vugu thermos cup that fits in nice there so it doesn't roll around I like to keep the cup my cups inside my bags there's a zipper pocket back here, there's nothing in that, but in the pocket in front of that there's a little coin purse with a beanet bib inside of it. The next pocket next to that has a small beanet, uh, sorry, be organized set piece with snacks in it. So I've got some muesli bars, you can see that muesli bars and crackers. The nice thing about these is you can see what's in there and some sultanas. So that's in that one. The last pocket on the left here I have a small set piece with a whole bunch of um, items that I take every t every day with me, some cream bongella things in there, so that's in that left pocket. In the middle here I've got a hat because it was very very hot today so we are walking so I took my daughter's hat, Sophie giraffe, a toy phone that she likes to play with, my uh, Y pouch just suck at the back there, and I, used the, I was using the medium be organized piece with nappies. There's the change of clothes down the bottom, nappies, and light change pad, and a coin purse with disposable baggies and wet bag in there. Yeah, there's a zip pocket back in the back here, and I do have my daughter's little coin purse with the brush in it. So that is everything that I have in the BFF, and I do love this bag, and it's fantastic. Very, very comfortable to carry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one away and put this one up. So this is the Mini B in Unikiki and it's, <laughs> I haven't really used it very much so it's still very squished together. So with the Mini B you've got a front pocket, little tiny bottle pockets on either side and then there's the internal organization in the, well, internal space in the middle. So what I usually do, so I'm going to start with my keys. So I usually put my keys in the bottle pocket. I don't usually put bottles in the, because these bottle pockets are so tiny I just prefer to put other things in there so I put that in there and 
on the front here, in this pocket here, I put my wallet in there. And I also usually stick my phone in there too. So it goes behind that like that. In the side pocket here, in the other bottle pocket, I'm going to put the coin purse with the beanie bib inside there. Okay, so that's all on the outside of the bag. You go inside the bag here, the mini B, and it does have gussets, and it's quite, there is actually quite a lot of room in the mini B. You can fit a lot in there. There is a zip pocket at the back here, coin purse with the brush and everything. I usually stick that back there. I usually put my lipstick back there too. And we'll put the uh, cream back there as well. And I think that's it. I think that's all I want to put back there. So we'll zip that up. Okay, so I'm going to put the medium, the organized piece in first because that makes a nice solid bottom down the bottom there. Now I can have it like this or I can have it like this. I think I'll have it like this because then I can put, fit the other stuff in there. Okay, so I do have a the small set piece. So what I'm going to do for me, I'm going to put that inside, actually inside this be organized okay and actually I might also put in see that I put in my antibacterial wipes and then I'll put this small set piece there and I'll put the coin purse on top of that so that'll go in there like that and then I've got I think I'll put my sippy cup in here as well and I'll put the snacks behind that like that. And I'm gonna put the white, the white pouch in front. I'm gonna start to zip this up because this is getting, it's easier if I zip it up. And then on top, I'll put the toys and the hat because that's what you're gonna access first, right? Pull out, so, and toy. So there you go. So that all fit in the mini bee. And it's not hard to access anything. It's not like it's all stuffed full and you can't get at what you want to get. And it's not, you know, it's not stuffed full that much. It's still very manageable. So if you wanted to get anything out, you just open up these sides here. These would be out anyway with my daughter. It's not like they'd be in the bag anyway. And then you can easily access what you need to. And I could even put the wipes probably on the top there once I've taken the toys and the hat and everything out for her and then that's of course the wipes and the things you get to the most as well. So there you go. So that kind of surprised me actually that everything in the BFF does fit into the Mini B. And um, so let me know what you think about that, whether you would choose the Mini B or the BFF if you had to go out and pick one of the two bags. And uh, give me a like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. See you later.